Hey YouTube, what's going on? I wanted to make a quick video to show you guys uh, something I did today for the Backbreaker roster editor. Obviously, for those of you who don't know, you can find it in the resources menu on simheads.com. And this is the latest update version 1.3.1. Uh, and here's what I did. I went ahead and added the ability to import and export roster files via spreadsheets files, right? So if you like making your rosters in a spreadsheet format, you can totally do that now with Backbreaker. Uh, you can quickly create a roster and then just import it into the Backbreaker editor and voila, you have your, you know, you have your roster. I also fixed um, a couple things. I actually... There was an issue with having 11 characters in the first name, so I limited that down to 10. Um, if you go to 11, it actually wraps the first name with the last name, and you get a first name that is not um, correct. You'll have like a first plus last name for the first name, uh, which does not look good. And then I also added the ability, I noticed that I never added the ability to rehash and re-sign. And um, I don't like using third-party software for that, so I went ahead and added that into the roster now, just like the one for All Pro Football, so it will automatically rehash and resign your file for you, um, so you no longer need to worry about that. It happens when you save, and you have the options menu to, uh, you know, to look at your your IDs and such. So let's go ahead and jump over to the uh, program here, and I can show you what we got. So here's the latest roster, um, the latest editor here. I'm going to go ahead and open one of the ones here. So um, basically what we have now is the, like I said, the ability to go ahead and export. So what I would do first is go to File, Export, open up any roster file you want to start with. Um, actually, the first step that I would recommend if you're going to do a new roster is to make sure that every team is um, laid out here, right? So if you wanna create the NFL, then create all of your teams on every single slot. So Titans, whatever you want, each team, their city, their abbreviation, and pick their stadium, okay? And then what I would do is, because now you have your team set. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna go to File, Export. You can do the current team if you just wanna mess around with the current team, or you can do all teams, okay? You pick what location, you hit OK and it tells you your location where you dropped your file at, right? So let's go ahead and grab that file, uh, all teams. So let me show you what that looks like. So now you have all of the teams in what we call pipe. These are pipes. This is the character above the enter key on your keyboard and below the back key on your keyboard on the right side. So um, you have team name, which is why I said you do that first, because now all of your team, all of your teams are in here, and when you go to import it, it knows where to put each player. But what I did here was take all of the pieces that you need, so the the team, first name, last name, depth chart, the tier, the number, the position, the skin, and their abilities, focus, agility, speed, and strength. And what you can do is you can go and take this and import it into a, an Excel program or Google uh, Sheets. You can import this as a pipe delimited file and you can go ahead and make your, your changes and then save it back to this format. Okay, so if we wanna go in here and make this Joshua, right? Joshua. Now, what, one thing I didn't do was make sure that all your stuff was perfect. You have to make sure that your depth charts are all correct, that your uh, skin tones are the ones that are in the system. If not, it will break. That um, you know your numbers only go from, I think, zero to 99. So whatever options you have in the editor, you need to make sure that you're only putting those values in your spreadsheet because I did not spend time checking to make sure that it works. If it works, it works. If not, it will break. Um, so always back up your rosters and make sure that you're keeping the values that are in the game um, equal to the ones you put here. Okay. So once you're done, you go ahead and save your file. I'm going to skip the part about importing into Excel and back out. Let's just say I made the change to Joshua. 
Let's make Joshua McCown the uh, third string. Let's make Manziel the first string in this roster I have. And let's make uh, Austin Davis the second string. That's the depth chart column. I'm going to go ahead and save that. Close this one out. Now what you do is you go to your team. I'm sorry, you go to file again. Then you go to import. Okay. So for export, just real quick again, you have current team and that will just export the Texans. Um, and, uh, or you can do all teams. I just did all teams like I just mentioned to you a second ago. If you just did the Browns, for instance, it will be everything from here up that gets downloaded into a file. So that's what you get in the export. So it's no different than the all teams one. The only difference is you're only going to get the current team that you're looking at here, which in this case is the Texans. We did all teams, so we're good. So when you're done, you go to import, and you go to roster spreadsheet, okay? And roster spreadsheet, it's going to ask you what file do you want? So it's looking for a pipe delimited text file. Go to your uh, location of your file, double click on the file. It's going to say roster import complete. It completed all of the files, all of the players. Now we're going to go over to the Browns. And as you can see, Joshua McCown, Johnny Manziel, Austin Dan. So Joshua came through. If you go to your depth chart, you're going to see that Joshua is now the third string. So that was added in there, guys. So if you want to make a quick roster, this is the way to do it. Um, as I mentioned, I added in also the re-signing. Uh, for Xbox 360 saves and um, when you first come in here for the first time what you're going to want to do is click the import IDs so you take a file from your Xbox save it over to your PC load it in the editor you're going to want to import the ID so now it has your Xbox console your profile your device all of the IDs for your save that came from your Xbox imported into here and then from now on, it, if you hit auto save, it'll it won't ask you each time you save. It will it will go ahead and transplant that into any roster. So what this means, I know I'm going very quick. I want to make a short vid if I can. What this means is that if somebody were to give you a roster online, that Xbox 360 roster has that person's or someone else's IDs in the roster. It won't work on your system. So what you need to do is make sure that you stamp that roster with the IDs from your system. Normally we use third party uh, software programs like Modio or Horizon. You don't need to do that anymore. All you got to do, like I said, is get a roster from your Xbox, import the IDs into here by clicking this button, and then load the any roster you want in the world. Whenever you save, it will save your IDs from your Xbox onto that um, roster and it will work perfectly. So it's all been tested. All seems to work. If you have any problems, let me know. Hope you enjoyed the video. Enjoy making rosters and making these great old games even better and have fun. All right, guys. Till next time. Thanks for watching. Peace.